just uh, moments ago, uh, rounds of uh, a mortar landed not that far from where we are uh, standing, despite being with uh, Iraqi troops, elite uh, uh, units uh, so who supposedly have secured the perimeter. But uh, obviously they're still coming under fire, so this is uh, a pretty emblematic uh, example, if you will, of the situation out here on the ground where uh, most uh, swaths uh, of land in and around the city uh, are under the approximate control, I would say, of uh, Iraqi forces. Remember that up until now, the work, the groundwork has been laid by regular Iraqi troops, federal police, who are pretty much acting like uh, military troops at this point, uh, uh, shelling, harassing positions held by uh, the Islamic State uh, uh, organization. But uh, uh, those uh, jihadists, uh, still very much active within certain pockets uh, of the city. Obviously, they still have access to uh, their mortar cannons because that is precisely what was being used just moments ago uh, to take fire at this uh, position or right, right close to it. Uh, uh, and uh, what uh, the officers that we are with were explaining is that they still have sleeper cells uh, around the city, for instance, who see these kinds of military movements and then call in the coordinates to folks who are much further out into the city so they can try to fire mortar around. Uh, at them. Their uh, family is about to uh, walk by literally with just about anything they could grab, animals, belongings, and headed out the city as fast as they can. And they usually use the military vehicles as shield. These armored vehicles will basically ride out very slowly, and these people, these families, uh, will uh, basically try to walk as close as they can to the vehicles, hoping uh, to take cover in case there are, uh, again, uh, rounds of mortars landing or shots uh, being fired. But the crowds this morning were very impressive, far bigger than the ones we've seen over the past 24, 48 hours. These people feel that this perhaps is their window of opportunity to exit the city before what could be the final assault uh, on Mosul.